so in in previous class we have discussed about we have discussed about the concept about realistic modeling now we are go for reusability reusability it allow to reuse the existing classes or objects it means what when you purchase any uh, mobile phone you are adding a screen guard you are adding a back cover so by adding the screen guard and back cover your mobile phone version has not changed we just give the better look and feel of this mobile so reusability allow to reuse the existing class and object next is modularity it allow the object to be maintained independent of each other it allow the object to be acha ye jo a reusability is what if you take an example like when windows 7 is coming to the market first it is coming at the version of windows 7 home and we are adding some kind of new functionality we are adding some kind of functionality and we create it windows 7 professional windows 7 ultimate so these are the operation upgradation in a same operating system is called other usability modularity is what it allow the object to be maintained independent of each other it is used to break the complex program it is used to break the complex program into a smaller smaller part and you have to handle this each part individually and independently so that is called the modularity it allow the object to be maintained independent of each other this concept is called as the modularity next comes to comes to the point flexibility to change it allow to create a new class new class can add the feature to an existing class it allow to create a new class flexibility to change means you are adding the new functionality in existing class you are adding the new functionality in existing class and you have to create a new class converting of windows 7 operating system to the window 8 is called as a flexibility to change new class can be add the new feature on the existing class next we are using here information hiding it allow the programmer to limit the access to information it means what sometimes we are uploading the photo in the facebook some photo we are sharing everybody some photo we are not sharing everybody we are sharing to the specific person information hiding is just like that it allow the program programmer to limit the access to information some information you want to share to everybody some information you want to share to the specific person and some information you don't want to share anybody so that concept is called the information hiding this information hiding concept is implemented by using of encapsulation and abstraction encapsulation means hiding the information which is not required abstraction means showing the relevant information which is required to the user it means when you are going to a shopping mall when you are going to the dress shop and in the dress shop there is a uh, what shopkeeper is present and uh, the shopkeeper is asking for you which thing you want suppose you asking for i want t-shirt the shopkeeper is only showing the t-shirt and at that timing is asking what is your range and what is your size so based upon your requirement the shopkeeper is deliver the particular thing to you it doesn't mean other thing is not available everything is available but which is relevant to you the shopkeeper is showing that particular information so this concept is called as the information hiding which thing i am showing which thing i am showing that is called as a 
and um, abstraction and which thing I am hiding that is called the encapsulation. So information hiding is implemented by using of the concept of abstraction and encapsulation. So gives an heading abstraction. Just write uh, one more abstraction. Abstraction means showing the relevant information. Gives an heading abstraction is used to showing the relevant information to the user. Encapsulation means hiding the information. Uh, uh, I have a question that abstraction means showing the relevant uh, information. What is the mean of relevant information type? I mean, just when you are going to the shopkeeper and you are asking for, I want the T shirt and my, uh, I want the T shirt of Excel and I want the Excel T shirt with, within the range of uh, 500. So the shopkeeper is showing that particular T-shirt within the range of 500 rupees and within the size. It doesn't mean other T-shirt are not, not available and a higher price T-shirt is not available. Everything is available, but which is relevant to you. That information is what it is. It is delivered to you. Okay. Okay, sir. And gives running encapsulation. Yes. Encapsulation means hiding the information. Encapsulation means hiding the information which is not required. Uh, it's just done, sir. So it is all about your uh, OOPS concept part one, then we cover to the OOPS concept part two. After uh, Just a second.
next comes to the java so java is a hope language that was designed to meet for need for a platform independent language platform independent language means your program can run in any operating system that is called a platform independent language few type of java application we are using application that use cui application that use gui applets servlets and packages the primary motive behind developing java was the need for a portable and platform independent language portable means your application can run in any operating system portable means in any device platform independent means your application can run in any operating system so by using of java okay we can create a application by using cui gui applet servlet and packages cui stands for character user interface okay cui stands for character user interface gui stands for graphic user interface एंटर If you want to go to the E drive, E colon enter. Okay, so here we are using drive. Applet is what? Applet is a program. Okay, which is what is applets? is a program which is written in java but for running application we require A browser, servlet. Servlet is what? Now it is a Java technology class. Java technology class, which is used. to develop web application in java to develop web application in java applet it is a program which is written in java but for running the application we require a browser servlet is a java technology class which is used to develop a web application in java write this one
Did over. Now see there. So Java is a OOP language that was designed to meet the need for a platform independent language. Platform independent language means your application can run in any operating system, platform independent. Java is used to create an application that can run in a single computer as well as the distributed network. It means what? For creating any application. Okay, for creating any application, we require the three parts. Let me show you. Creating any application, we require the three parts. First, we require the user interface.
Then we require the business of the Require the three parts. First, we require the user interface. Then we require the business logic. Then we require the database. The three part we require. Okay, is it visible? <coughs> yes, it is visible. So, That is divided into three parts. One is single layer. In single layer application, the user interface, business logic, and database is present in single layer. User interface, business logic, database is present in a single layer. In two layer architecture, Single system is present. User interface, business logic, database is present in a single system. In two tier architecture, there is a separation control. When any application is developed by using of single tier, the application needs to be installed in every device. Okay, the application needs to be installed in every device. So that is called as your single tier architecture. In the two tier architecture, there is a separation concern. So we have the two part. One is client and another is server part. In two tier architecture, we have two parts. One is Another is the server. One is client, another is server. So client contains the user interface, server contains the database. Client contains the user interface, server contains the database. And if your business logic is present in the client, then it is called as the chat client and seen server. When you are using this architecture, your request processing is very slow than the other application. Okay, so write it. So in If your business logic is present in the server, then it is called as a chat server. In 
that subordinate in black. Okay, so when everything is present in the server, this part of that subordinate in black. So when you are using this kind of architecture, when you are using this kind of architecture, request processing is very fast. Processing is very fast. Request processing is very सर आप मतलब बैठ के बात कीजिए मतलब वहां से आप बोर्ड पे जाते हैं ना तब जब बोलते हैं वो आवाज थोड़ा धीमा हो जाता है सुना ही सही से नहीं देता अच्छा अच्छा एक सेकेंड एक सेकेंड पास आ रहे हैं तो ठीक है दूर से से कैसे पता नहीं हाँ हाँ मैं उल्टा लगा लिया था बोले थे अभी ठीक आ रहा है ये समझ में आया तो हाँ ये समझ में आ गया तो भाई यूजिंग ऑफ जावा वी कैन यूज द थ्री टाइप ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर टू टायर सिंगल टायर एंड टू टायर एंड इन थ्री टायर आर्किटेक्चर In three-tier architecture, we have one is client, another is server. Ja ja ja. Ja. client contain the user interface server contain the business logic database server can contain the database this contain the three type of three tier architecture client contain the user interface business logic contain the uh, business logic contain the server and database server contain the database कंप्लीट ठीक है चलो इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी गो अहेड ऑफ दिस वर्क ओके ठीक है सर मतलब एक बात बता रहे थे कि आप अगर सिलेबस भेज देते तो अच्छा होता आ कंटेंट आ सकता है भेज दूँगा भेज दूँगा कंटेंट भेज दूँगा ठीक है सर थैंक यू गुड नाइट गुड नाइट गुड नाइट चलो